Wooly. Wooly and the Kite Noons come around, and it's quiet and calm. Wooly's decided it's the perfect time for a nap. He laid his head on the pillow and looked at the skies. Sleep is just around the corner, and he'll shut both his eyes. But the window is moving. It's making a noise. It's quite hard to sleep like this. Wooly's annoyed. Wooly got up and closed the window shut. Now he'll be able to sleep and drift away in his beautiful dreams. But what is that whistling he hears outside? It's me, said the wind. I'm out here. Come outside. It's boring alone. You can rest at night. I promise I won't blow. Well, okay, wind. I'll be right outside. Yes, what can I help you with, dear Miss Wind? Let's play together, you and me. It will be fun, Wooly. I promise, you'll see. What can we play? You're always moving about. We can play hide and seek, without a doubt. And right away, the wind flew up to the trees. Way up high, she blew her breeze. And Wooly tried, but it's hard to succeed. Catching the wind is a very hard deed. It's not a simple thing to do, you know. She is the wind, and he's just a boy. Okay, said the wind. We'll run in the fields. We'll run up and down hills. Wooly joined, and together they ran. But into Wooly's eyes, the wind blew sand. Stop it, wind. This is simply not fun. This game's not for me. Find yourself someone else, Wooly said, and let me go back to rest in my bed. And then there was a moment of quiet. Maybe the wind was offended or mad. No, she was just thinking a thought in her head. Great ideas come to my mind. I have a game that we'll both really like. Wait for a moment and don't go to bed. The wind disappeared but came back with a kite in her hand. Wooly smiled. He really loves kites. He loves when they fly very high in the sky. He took the kite string and he held it real tight. And the wind blew and blew and lifted the kite way up high. And until the sun went down, they played in the field, the small happy boy and the mighty strong wind. Thank you.